kit because it is funky. What? Stay clean. Have to do a little treatment. That worked. Okay. Ooh, that camera lens fogged up real quick, y'all. I have one of these little kit cleansing. On this side, you wipe, you know, clean the inside of the camera lens. And then this one is like a little furry to get the dust out. So that is what I currently just used to clean y'all eyes out. All right. <laughs> Don't ask me what is going on in this vehicle because I don't know, but it is dirty. I need to clean my car big time. Um, anyway, maybe we'll do a clean my car with me next week. So I'm in Alabama and I'm at the hotel. Lonnie's at work. I just got up. I slept till about 10 o'clock, which is 11 o'clock Eastern, my time at home, which was nice. I really, really wanted to sleep until 11 central <laughs> and 12 o'clock eastern that was my goal i was like i'm going to sleep in i'm going to sleep until 11 o'clock but i couldn't do it y'all i couldn't i couldn't do it no matter how hard i tried so i think so right now i'm gonna go to best buy I need to try to get another cord for my computer because the one I had that came with the computer, it finally, you know, how Apple's cords start to split. And this one was the thick, nice cable. If you didn't see my unboxing of that video, I'll leave it linked, but it was the nice thick one. So it lasted, I think I've had that computer for two years now. I want to say two years so the cord lasted for two years which is very good for apple cord so i ordered another one off of amazon like a month ago and that one is already destroyed so i'm like okay i am googling some coffee shops to go sit at and do some work i usually go to soul caffeine that's here in daphne and i probably still will honestly but i was like let me just look and see if there's anything else we tried when we were here last week we tried this place called summer moon i think but they don't have food i don't think so i'm kind of like um they close at eight though let me look at the pictures. It looks nice, but they don't have food. So I'm like, I'm hungry. See, this is what the, can y'all see it? It's probably a glare. And that's what the inside looks like. It's nice and spacious. Just looking to see if anybody shows any food. Oh, they got Cinnabons. Hmm. So Caffeine has little sandwiches and bagels. And it looks like they just have pastries. I mean, which is fine, I guess, because we'll probably, we'll probably get lunch, but I really, really had the taste for, um, and I don't even know what Soul Caffeine has this, y'all, but I really had a taste for a salmon cream cheese bagel. Oh, oh, I'm craving that so bad. I think when I get home, I'm gonna make that for breakfast because I am craving that so bad. Last time we were here, we tried to go to this East Shores Cafe, and they were closed, even though it said open, so I don't want to drive and do that again. So I feel like Soul Caffeine and um, Summer Moon is going to be my two options. So I will make a decision after we leave Best Buy. So let's go to Best Buy, y'all. Let's see if they have this court. I want to see if they have a quick release tripod adapter. I don't know. I don't even know if that exists or I'm making it up in my head. 
but screwing my camera on and off to as I got as soon as I got in the sun here we go I am going to see hopefully if they have a quick release button or adapter to be able to put my camera quickly onto my tripods instead of having to screw and screw them off and screw and screw them off it's, it's first world annoying problems <laughs> yesterday I drove in so I didn't vlog I thought I was going to vlog you know a little bit but I didn't I ended up being on the phone with my friend for five hours it is a five hour drive here and we literally talked the entire drive now to be fair we haven't talked to each other in almost a month we don't talk every day just because our lives are both insane and so yesterday I was like I'm gonna try to call her because she'll usually call me in my life y'all it's crazy she's a teacher she's on summer break so I was like let me see if I could try to catch her on my way to um, Alabama and luckily she answered and we talked for five hours and it's crazy because I got here to Alabama and we were still talking we could have probably talked another three hours <laughs> I feel like those are your people you know people that you don't have to talk to every day they don't harass you they're not like oh you haven't called me I have to call you because small talk as an introvert you don't even do small talk so I think your people are those people that you don't talk to every day but when y'all are either together or y'all finally able to connect and catch up, it is like, like y'all talk every day and it's nothing. So I don't know. That's just me. I could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, it was crazy. We talked forever. So me and Lonnie went to um, Bordeaux. I had said in our vlog, my last Alabama vlog, that I was trying to decide if I was going to take him to Bordeaux or to the oyster place and we ended up going to the oyster place so this time when I got in the towel he took me to Bordeaux which is funny because I didn't even tell him Bordeaux was an option but he found it and was like oh I'm gonna take you here and we sat out on the patio by the water and it was really pretty I took some pictures I'll, I'll insert some pictures but um, I didn't vlog any of that it was really pretty and then we went back to the room and watched um catch me if you can i don't know have you ever seen that i had never seen it but it was really good <laughs> because the hotel does not have a smart tv so we were clicking through the channels trying to find something to watch and stumbled on that and got captivated and ended up watching the whole thing and it was really good we came in towards the middle so i don't know what happened in the beginning we came in on the part where I guess they were moving out of their house because the mom was crying and the dad was like oh it's gonna be easier to clean so I don't know what happened all before that so I'm sure that part probably makes sense and maybe we'll go back and watch it again but we we ended up getting captivated and watched that till 1 a.m. and then we were clocked out but it was really good all right I'm gonna go into Best Buy I took my camera in my little DJI. No, I got too much crap up here. This one is not in the case right now, but I took this one in to record, and of course, the battery died. This is what I'm saying because I don't use this one that often, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to use more of the resources that I have spent my money on and paid for <laughs> not waste money and then be like oh I need to buy one of those you know because that's what I do so I've been trying to use stuff that I have more and get better at it using it out and about like my GoPro you know I don't use it like I should and so I've been trying to do that but the problem is, is because I don't use these things, 
they don't be charged so i'm gonna try to charge it a little bit in the car but y'all funny while i was in there these two guys walked up and this is always every time i'm in alabama mississippi i don't know what it is about those areas but obviously if i was single that would be where i need to live because every time i'm in those areas stuff like this this happens but i was in there shopping around this guy walks up him and his friend he was like you pregnant and his friend was like man you can't ask that he was like no i'm like yes i am he was like oh hell so i'm like okay he like you still with the baby daddy i'm like yeah <laughs> yes i am he's like are y'all married i'm like yes we are he was like damn you are just you're beautiful you're gorgeous man if, if dude f up can i give you my number if he f up i'm like i'm good <laughs> but i'll be sure to let him know that you know he needs to make sure he doing right in these streets because obviously pregnant or not <laughs> I should have dropped that yeah and I got 12 kids at home but anyway I thought that was hilarious because I am obviously big and pregnant dude okay let me show y'all what I got so I got a cord and I just went ahead and forked out the $50 for the apple certified one because again it did last for two years so i can't cry about the fact that it's split but this is the one that i bought on amazon and honestly this is really what happened to the apple one too but this one i've only had for a month can y'all see that can y'all see it is it working is it working and I paid thirty dollars for this freaking thing. What's another twenty to get something that I know is gonna last for at least two years? So I'm debating on if I'm gonna send this back to Amazon because I just got this. I don't even think it's been a month. I think it's been three weeks. I might be returning this as defective. Get my thirty dollars back. So yeah, that is what I did. Oh, I got that, and I'm trying to see if this is actually charging. Oh, it is. Okay. And then, because I'm impulsive, not really. <laughs> Those of you who know me know I'm not impulsive. I got this. I have been looking at one of these ever since I upgraded to the Sony. I don't know if you could say upgraded. Ever since I moved from Canon to Sony, I've been looking at this Sony tripod. And so, I decided to bite the bullet and get it. Hopefully, it's worth it. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so freaking hungry. Mm. Okay, what is this car doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're about to get hit. Oh, my Lord. I'm tempted to go get me some food and then go to the coffee shop because I'm so hungry. I don't want no little stinking pastries. I want some food. Lonnie should be done about one, but knowing him, he'll stay past one. It's 12 o'clock. I feel like if he will leave at two at the latest, I'll be okay because we'll go get lunch. I'm trying to talk myself off a ledge of eating, eating, because I know if he leaves, I'm gonna get some food. So hopefully, he'll leave it too. Otherwise, I'm gonna get some food without him. Because I am hungry. All right, let's see if this $150 was worth it. Let's do a quick, quick unboxing and set up. Yeah. 
the memory card. So let me change my battery, pair this up. I'll let y'all know if it was easy or hard. So I'm gonna do it in the car, okay. Ah, it works, y'all, it works. Well, that was seamless and pretty easy. Hold on. Y'all, that was so easy, okay. Well, that makes me happy. It's the little things. I'm gonna set y'all down because this thing has like a little tripod on it. So let me set y'all down in the most awkwardest position ever. This is almost the same exact size. Like this little tripod is almost the same size as my DJI. So that's nice. I just want to see how much it's charged. I don't think I want to leave it in the car because I'm afraid it's going to overheat. It's 65%. Okay, that's good. That's good for car charging, y'all. 65% this thing charges fast. Like this is so tiny. I don't know. Have I done a review on this? I don't think I have. It's old now, y'all. They probably came out with a new version. But um Yeah. But it's almost the same size as the tripod on this, which is nice. But I think what I need to do is start like keeping this in my purse to just make it easier to pull out I don't know maybe I'll try that it's all about trial and error all about trial and error in these streets alright so we're at summer moon we're gonna go inside and get some coffee I'm gonna do some work foggy again oh my lord I think it is okay Woo. I just sat there for about two hours I'm hungry I had a bagel which was huge but I only ate half of it I got a little bit of work done so I feel productive I did exactly what I said I was going to do. And then Lonnie called and said he was ready. So he's harassing me because he caught me about 20 minutes ago. And I'm just not leaving. So I'm on my way to pick him up. It's 3 o'clock. So he was technically two hours past the time that we agreed he was going to be done. So technically he can't begin mad at that. I'm running late so anyway I'm on my way to get him and we are gonna go get lunch because I'm starving it's about to storm here y'all I cannot get away from the dang on rain what in the world everywhere I go the rain follows me and it's getting on my nerves any other time when we're just alone and we get to spend a couple days by ourselves in a hotel, we will typically try to stay in a really nice hotel. If you guys have seen any of our staycations, you'll know that we usually try to stay in a really nice hotel and we will just like order DoorDash and stay in the bed and watch movies. 
so we would have done that probably today too if we were staying in a hotel that <laughs> I wanted to be in but all the hotels were booked sold out and we when we're in Daphne if we're not staying at the Airbnb that we typically stay at we will um, stay at home two suites or at Hilton but they were sold out so we had to stay at La Quinta which we've stayed there before if you've seen any of my vlogs you've seen that we've stayed there before this whole this La Quinta is it La Quinta or La Quinta I don't know but anyway it's fairly new it's about the same age as us I want to say yes yeah, it's about three years old so it's fairly new so it's still nicer you know the owners are local we've met them so they take extremely good care of their property so it is one of the nicer La Quintas but it's still a La Quinta, La Quinta? is a La Quinta it's still a La Quinta at the end of the day when it's all said and done there's that part it's a Wyndham hotel I don't know how else to say it in a nicer way so there's still that like I said they don't even have smart TVs so I I'm not in the business of wanting to be in that hotel. As you stay there, we usually are either at work all day and just come home and sleep, so it's not a big deal. So we'll probably try to find something to do and kind of stay out and about and then go back and sleep. And then tomorrow we leave. I was working on editing my um, pregnancy update video and it's an hour long. And those of you who watched the whole thing, I love y'all. Y'all are MVPs. Y'all that watch the whole thing, y'all are the MVPs. I hope you watched the whole thing. If you didn't, just go back, you know, grab yourself something to drink or maybe put in your headphones and clean your house and listen or listen in your car because it is more of a podcasty kind of video. You don't have to necessarily be sitting and watching, but go back and listen to the whole thing because every time I sit down to edit hold on y'all Lonnie's calling me like where are you hold on hello are you still at the hotel no I'm on my way to get you I was coming from Daphne who are you doing in Daphne life it, was it raining there it's about to it's it is thundering. crazy over here is it it ain't doing nothing yeah. right now it is about to, you about to come into some really bad weather. I'm about to, uh, just in case power goes out. Interesting. Well, I'm like literally on Daphne Avenue and nothing yeah, is happening right now still. You about to get the little rock. I mean, it was thunder and lightning where I was, but y'all, it's nothing. I mean, y'all can listen. There's nothing going on. Isn't that crazy? How could we like pouring down in one part and just in a starting to mile, sprinkle turn left onto now this plantation parkway starting to sprinkle i see in the distance the clouds so more than likely we will not go have dinner because i want to go to the oyster place again for dinner and usually we like to sit outside in a mile turn left onto so, now this plantation parkway I may try to see if this weather is going to pass and we go tonight and then tomorrow go to, um, what am I trying to say, y'all? See if this weather pass and we go tonight so we can sit on the patio and then today, right now, since it's storming, maybe just grab some bass. Um, we'll see. We'll see how... Turn left How he's feeling. Now this plantation parkway. But I was saying every time I sit to edit that video, because I have tried to get it shorter than an hour, I walk away from it every single time feeling something different and taking something away from it. And I'm sure it's because I'm walking through it, but I don't know. I just every time I feel I just feel something different today when i was editing it i was thinking about the guy that came up to me and was like are you pregnant and how in that moment i was just like yes i am or whatever 
But then later when I got in the car, I was thinking, I am pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. Like I am, but it's not like, y'all just, uh, I'm not pregnant with like a baby that I'm going to get to love on forever and ever so it's so weird it's just it's so weird it's just it's crazy it's crazy but anyway that is where i am can y'all see i'm sure you can't see it's blown out i can see it in the window i'm gonna get off so i can focus because yeah i see in the mist that i am about to come up on a storm a monsoon <laughs> so let me focus on driving and i will see y'all later thunderstorm until 345 is 320 I really only pulled over because it was hellin so I'm trying to decide am I gonna try to go back out but I feel like it's easy enough hold on a second hello <laughs> I have to pull over at the gas station Go back. You didn't believe me. Well, I, I don't know what's going on. I thought it was storming, but it was hellin'. Half a dollar size hell, so I don't know what's going on. I'm on, I'm I'm right up the street at the, the well, shell. It's not too hell right now. Huh? Well you just need to stand by. <laughs> Y'all. I'm sitting here I think like I'm gonna give it like five more minutes and then I'm going to gut it out and go it is 3 30 I feel like it's easing up so let's try to get let's try to get to where we're going All away. I can see now. Well, that's a good thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. So you can tree in the road. <laughs> oh my god. What in the world? safely made it to my destination they're officially taste testing that, that's how you know you gotta you gotta taste test your food to know it's good do you want to go in and see if they got something to sit are you seriously like i'm not doing it <laughs> look you know they be licking their fingers at hooters too it's just that you don't see it <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's why I like to have my screen out, but I'm trying to keep it back so I don't look at it. Y'all, we just came. I was like, oh, let's get wings instead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. I'm sitting here playing around. We passed the Hooters. I was like, ooh, wait, I could eat some Hooters. That's how it go when you have these pregnancy cravings. But we passed a new place called Wild Wings. I was like, oh, maybe we should try, you know, local, get Hooters anywhere. So we pulled up to see what it was, and we drove around the back to turn around. And they had the door to the kitchen open where you could see into the kitchen, and the cook was eating a chicken wing. <laughs> what? Eating a chicken wing. I'm like, uh uh. All right, yeah, they got a little sitting area. 
It's kind of a Chinese restaurant set up. Well, it says fried rice. Okay. So, no? You want to go the Hooters instead? I'm really trying to <laughs> find a reason to stay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh, who it is? Sorry. Maybe that was the owner tasting his recipe. Mm -hmm. Can I keep straight? I think so. Hey, that's the best food. People that actually taste what they're cooking. You want to go? No, I'm, I'm just telling you for future reference. I would. Sydney came to this Hooters. It was alright. In fact, when we came, it was raining then too. Why? Why do certain hotels have to be all grim and dark and like, oh? If I designed a hotel, it would just be, it would be different. <laughs> We just decided to come back to the hotel. Have Hooters. One on the left. Away from the faucet. We have Hooters for probably dinner because it's 5.30, so I doubt we go back out. And I'm actually pretty full. And so now, we're going to try to watch a movie on our computer. Just chill out. Because tomorrow is checkout. Hallelujah. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> ready to be in my room. I did it. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. We are blowing the cuckoo nest. We are blowing this joint. So we are about to get on the road, go home. Yay! I'm gonna grab breakfast first. We tried a place last time we were here, but they were closed. So I think we're gonna go try again because it's Sunday morning, 9.30. So surely they're open now, <clears throat> unless they, they're closed permanently and just haven't updated their information on Google. That is very well possible. That's what we're gonna do. Y'all, speaking of closing, one of our favorite, this is my husband calling me, hold on. Oh, I was saying, I one of our favorite ice cream places here called The Yard, which you can see briefly in our, in the vlog I posted for me and Lonnie when he came down. Um, I think it was reconnecting or something like that. I'll leave it linked. But we get, when we were here last time, last week, we were going to take the kids to go. Because the whole time we were there, y'all, why do parents do this? Why do we go on trips or take vacations and then all we do is think about how we want to bring our kids and where we want to take them when we bring them back? <laughs> it's crazy right so anyway we were like oh we got to take the kids here so when we came with the kids last time last week we were gonna take them we went and y'all they were closed they were shut down and we were so sad and I couldn't believe it in my mind I'm like they were doing so well at least you know when we were here or the day we went and now I think the yard is a franchise because they do have one in Gulf Shores and um a couple other places so it's either owned you know by one set of people or a franchise where they franchise it out to different people but regardless to whichever one it is it just remind because they're not a baskin robbins they're not a um dairy queen you know they're up and coming um small business from my understanding but it just reminded me, you just don't know. People make so many assumptions about businesses and how well they're doing or how not well they're doing or why they closed or should they close or you know, where they should open or where they should go. It's so crazy. Y'all, it's Monday. I'm back home. I'm trying to muster up the energy to get go out of my room because despite me saying while I was in Alabama, 
I was ready to come home. The thing about being on vacation is you don't have to think about breakfast, you don't have to think about lunch, you don't have to think about dinner, you don't have to think about snacks. You just be, right? You know, but then I was so ready to come home, but now that I'm home, I'm like, <sighs> as a mom, do y'all get that? Y'all get that? So I'm trying to get myself together <sighs> to start the day. Lonnie's currently um, fussing at the kids because they've obviously done something to my walls. So I gotta go see what it was. I might pick up the vlog again for a weekly. We'll see. But otherwise, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for hanging out this weekend. Bye.